video. So I started working on this like months ago and then I stopped because it was taking too long to get the whole thing done. So I decided I'm gonna work on it piece by piece because that's easier and it'll take less time. So this is my partially done project and where I'm at so far. So I'm specifically just going to show you how I'm doing the cards for my card game. And you could use cards like this for a card game or to go with a board game. These accompany a board game specifically, but you don't need that. You could just do a card game if you want. So I have all of these folders that my mother had bought to color coordinate her office a few years ago. And then she ultimately did not like that organization. So I wound up with a lot of her folders she told me to use for crafts so they at least didn't get wasted. So like stoked, sold, I will take your pink folders. There are other colors too, but like pink. <laughs> I don't even know where I put the other color ones. They're probably still in the basement. I probably only took the pink ones up because you know, pink. <laughs> I have a problem. Anyways, it's a good problem though. <laughs> hey, so speaking of which, when I worked at this medical device place, it was the very first like super professional job I had like that. And there was this really, really old lady who worked in the open office and she sat up in front by me kind of ish anyways she was walking up behind me one day and she said something to me about favorite colors or whatever so i told her yeah pink is totally my favorite color and she's like oh that's okay and she patted me what so i have social issues and did not know am i the one who's wrong in this social situation i did not understand what on earth is going on so i asked my mom what explain this social situation and she said, no, it's not me. It was her who was the weird one. But like, what? Oh, it's okay. What does that mean? Pink? What? Anyways, so totally did not understand. Wow. Anyways, I lost my train of thought there. So for your cards, make a template out of like cardboard or something, something thick so that you can have your shape. And then if you want to do a little decoration, like I did make two of them so that you can do a front and a back. So like I did this swirly thing for the back so that all the corners in the back are the same and only do one swirly thing. So all the swirly things are the same, you know, you just flip your card around and then you're only using the one stencil that you made as opposed to trying to make four that match, which is less likely to happen. Anyways, okay. And then on the other side, choose whatever shape you want. I wanted the four cards shapes because it's Alice in Wonderland themed. So I did that, that it was my shape. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. So. For my back decoration, I also wanted to use a stamp with gold uh, paint so that it would like shine and have like a kind of a card back look. So I just used gold paint and a rose stamp that I have. And then I used hand marker pen, what do you call those? Acrylic paint pens for my coloring on all of them, except for the paint, of course. And then I made a questionable decision and I used this here pen to write my words. And then I learned when I put my glue coat on that this pen is like water soluble or non water soluble, whichever one means it spreads with water. So that was sad and tragic. But anyways, so try to test your pen and put glue over it before you do all this. So you don't ruin your, your cards. Oh, they're partially ruined, but whatever, it's fine. I could have used tape to laminate, but that wouldn't, it bubbles and you know, it's just not as good as glue. Glue's much easier assuming your glue doesn't like spread. So anyways, I set my game up where each color is a different section on my board and I have different types of questions per each color. So I needed an equal amount of questions in each color pile. So I wound up having to make a couple more cards so that I would have the equal amount. Anyways, it's like 10 or 11 or whatever I chose. Um, so yeah, it's all of the different types of questions for the game. And then I also do four rule cards so that the four people playing all would have the rule card, you know, like a normal game does, but they're not quite all that easy to read because, you know, the, the pen spreads with glue. Bad pen is bad pen. Ugh, I struggle with these kind of black outline pens, these drawing pens. They don't seem to work for me very well. They're either all dead when I'm trying to work, which is usually because going over colored pencil make these things dry out really, really fast. The tip, like the pen still has ink, but the tip just won't keep giving you ink because it's all dry because of the colored pencil. Why am I ranting about this? I lost my train of thought. Anyways, that's what my rule cards look like. That was a really quick flash that I showed. Oh my goodness. <sighs> my editing is amazing. Can't you tell? I'm like so good at stuff. Ugh. So I put glue in a little cup so that I could paint glue over the top and then, you know, of course the back as well of all the cards for my fake lamination, you know, just keep them a little bit safer so that they don't get like stained or smudged or whatever. I don't know. It's just a little bit of extra help. If I had a real laminator, I probably would have used that, but you know, I don't. So 
Also, I don't have room for more craft stuff. Like I, there, are, I could make a palace of craft stuff. That would be so cool. Like I dream of these imaginary things in my head. Like I've got imaginary gym and an imaginary craft room and an imaginary dirt road that I can go take my runs and walks on with my dog or just myself. Ah, <sighs> live the dream inside your head, even if you don't have it in reality. <laughs> oh, so I, every weekend I have a fruit cup with my dog and I don't like blueberries, but he loves blueberries. So out of the fruit cup, I eat most of the fruit and then he gets the blueberries. So I feel like we're having our like tropical morning every when? Weekend. That's what those are called. So that's something that he loves. And he knows what the tub means when I grab the fruit tub and bring it to his couch. And I've also taught him you need to sit on the couch with me because I don't like when his blueberries get lost and he has to go find them. I just want him to sit next to me and I'll just hand you my blueberries. So he loves that and I think it's cute. So I love our blueberry time. That's my blueberry boy. He used it. We had a blueberry bush at my great grandmother's house. Uh, and he would just eat all the berries off the bush. He'd just pluck every berry off the bush. It's cute. He's cute. Love my dude. Anyways, my mom had this, found, she found this tub at work and she gave it to me and I thought, wow, this is the perfect size for my craft thing. So here's my first piece. It's my cards. Did that make any sense? Hello. Goodbye. 